And what's up, YouTube? Today we've got the Helltech 8S, well, it's a 6 to 8S um, active balancer. It'll support uh, lithium iron phosphate, uh, LTO cells, uh, and lithium ion. Uh, <clears throat> There's a lot of uh, MOSFETs and circuitry on the back there, and capacitors on the top. So basically what this thing does is it's going to actively balance the cells in your battery pack. And it does that by transferring power between cells. And some of the some of the cheaper models uh, just transfer between adjacent cells and um, well this one does it all uh, this will transfer between all cells and it, and it does it all at once um, so there, there's really no LED indicators other than this one right here that just shows that it's working interestingly uh, that one seems like it just stays on all the time, so I, I don't know if it ever really gets to a state of balance that it considers to be done, and that light will turn off. I, I'm not sure. I've never seen it. Do, I haven't seen it do that, and I've left it on uh, for yeah, probably 48 hours. Uh, <clears throat> but the thing that I notice that it does is. Uh, it'll pretty much keep the pack um, under about uh, 10 millivolts, uh, 10 millivolts uh, of, uh, of balance. So, and the other thing that I notice is whenever you're charging with a high current, uh, having this in... Uh, uh, connected keeps the cells way more balanced than uh, what they would be if you didn't have it in in real time you know it's not like it goes oh yeah I'm gonna <clears throat> store up some power here and then I'm, at some point I'm gonna transfer it over here I mean it, it all pretty much happens in real time um, and I'm gonna show you that here in a little bit but it does the same thing whenever uh, you're discharging uh, and depending on the load that you're discharging you, you'll see that it that it it does more work or it does less work so if we're if you're pulling a small load we can see using uh, the back go that um, you know, got a nice glare right there uh, you can see that it's not pretty nice and balanced right now a small load would you would see this uh, uh, um, millivolts uh, uh, go higher uh, as far as uh, the cells being out of balance uh, and with this uh, active balancer plugged in it would it would be less of a out of balance and uh, and that's more dramatic as the load goes up so I'm gonna plug it in and um, Pull load, and then I'm gonna, you know, plug it in and take it off, so that we can see, you know, I can show you uh, what it does in real time. If I can get it to stay somewhere. There. <clears throat> so I'm gonna turn the inverter on. And. Uh, just the inverter is pulling a small amount of power and so now that you, you can see that uh, it's gone a little bit more out of balance it was three uh, uh, millivolts and now it's uh, you know, five or six so let me put more of a load on actually uh, got a 100 watt tube amplifier hooked up and we're gonna pull more load
So now you see that uh, it's it's getting you know getting more out of balance. But since we got the balancer in, let's take it out, and you can see that it goes up quite a bit. So let me see if I can get that plugged in while you're watching. So it's out and balancer is now in. So now you see that uh, we went down to 43 millivolts out of balance. So it's it's uh, quite quite a dramatic difference in my opinion. And let's take the balancer off. And now you see that it jumped up to what is that 78. Uh, so currently we're let's see what we're pulling, what kind of load we're pulling here. Oh, this is not on. This is weird. Oh. I guess my meter died. <laughs> oh well, sorry, can't show that. Um, my kilowatt meter has. I guess bit the dust, uh, but th this should be pulling around 100 watts. And um, so let's see here, or 80 millivolts. Let's plug the balancer back in, and 45. So yeah, I'm almost uh, almost does 100 percent better at keeping it balanced while it's in the circuit. Now let's kill the load. And then uh, now we easily went back down below 10 millivolts. So I uh, haven't gotten this into a working system yet. I've just been testing it and uh, eventually I will. Um, I have about three kilowatts of lithium iron phosphate at 24 volts that this uh, this will be used on, and I'm hoping that uh, you know it, it it does a good job at helping me keep it balanced. But there you go. There's a quick rundown review of the Helltech uh, Active Balancer, and I'll put a link down below. Uh, well, you can order it if you want to try it out for yourself. See you guys.